In this video, we'll take a look at how to handle forms with Inertia and Laravel. What we have here is a list of courses and a button that says Create, but doesn't actually do anything just yet. So let's implement this Create form. The first thing we're going to do is to add the Create route in our WebPHP file. So let's go here and say Route, Get Courses, Create. Courses controller as and create. Let's give it a name. Now the next step is to write the create action on the courses controller. So public create return courses. Create course, and we don't need to pass any props to it. Save, and let's create the create course view component. So just pages create course view. I've already prepared a markup for it. So with the magic of copy and paste, here is our markup. Don't worry, you haven't missed much. It's only a bunch of HTML used to create the form elements. It doesn't do anything just yet, so let's work on that. But first, let's see it in the browser. So if we go to slash create, it appears that we have an error. Okay, so cannot find module course create course. It should be courses, so we probably mistyped that here. So it's courses. If we refresh now, everything is okay. So we have a name, a description, and a cover image. Okay, back to work. The first thing I'm going to do is bind the form inputs to a form object. So let's create form here that will have name, description, and color. Now let's bind these three fields. So the model form name. Here we model form dot description, and we cannot do a v model for the file. We need to watch it change. So, so it will be set cover. So whenever this input value will change, the set cover method will be called. So let's add that method. We receive an event, and that event will contain the actual file. So e target files of zero target. Okay, back here. Finally, we need to tap into the submit event of the form and call the create course method which we need to add the methods here because we are sending a file we need to create a form data object otherwise it won't work so form data what do is to see data Form data and let's append each request parameter. So name this form name description and file. Oh cover, sorry. And now that we have the data 
object ready, we should call a post request. So this inertia post, this route courses store, and we'll get the data as a parameter. Before we write the code for the store method, let's do a console log here to make sure everything is okay. So console log data. If we refresh, great. Okay, this is because the courses store route doesn't exist yet. But this should work. Get name. Yeah. Okay, let's write the route for the store method. So if we go here, we should do route. It's gonna be a post request. Courses controller store method. Now we go inside the controller and add in the new method. So public store as a request as a parameter. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is to create a course. So course create we pass in the attributes name request input name. Do the same for the description. And for the file or the cover, we need something a bit more special. So we're going to do cover and first check if the request includes the cover. And if it does, we should store it in the covers directory of the public disk. Otherwise, it will be just null. And once the course is created, we should return a redirect to the index page. Route courses.index. Okay, let's see how this works. So, refresh the page. Test, test, choose a file. Great. Now that we verified that the form works, we might as well add in some validation. So let's go to the store method and validate the request. Let's pass in our rules. So name be required. Description. Uh, we don't care about that. And cover, it should be either nullable or an image. Let's go to the form and see if our rules are working. So add this. Yes, it works. Let's go back and add another one. So it doesn't work anymore. In order to be able to display the errors, we need to share the session with the browser and to do that i have an inertia service provider that does just that so we have the boot method that calls the boot shared properties which basically share the errors default bag so whenever there are some errors in the session they will be shared with inertia, which means that if we go in the browser under view, create course here. So we have props errors name and the name field is required. Knowing that we have this errors object here, we can create a mixin to use we can use to display the errors in the form. So let's do that. We'll go to AppJS and write our mixin. So let's do it here. So view 
mixing methods I will call this one validation error that will receive the field and it will check whether our page this page errors has own property field return this page errors field of zero otherwise return null okay so let's test it out in our form so let's go to create course and display the validation errors so it will be validation error we'll pass in the field name which is name do the same for the description and the same for the cover but let's go in the browser and see how it works so create and we have the validation error but let's style it a bit so we'll do something like div Red six hundred and one. And only if we have the errors. Okay, we'll do the same for the others. So Refresh the page, submit the form, and here it is. Since we are done with the create form, let's quickly do the edit one. It should be easy as we can quickly copy and paste a bunch of stuff since they will be very similar. So first thing, let's add the route. So get courses, course, edit. Edit page. Let's create the edit method, which is very similar to the create method, only that it has course and that it sends it as a prop. Course, and here it's edit course. Let's copy over the Create course page and this will be edit course. This one will be update course and instead of create we'll just say update and let's rename form as well the date course okay what else yeah now we should fill the form based on the props we send in so it will be course which is an object and now we have this course name this course description and this one should stay empty because we only want to change this if another file is picked from the from our computer so that should be it except we also need to add in the laravel method input the method parameter so it knows it has to deal with the pot request and here it should be update and the course is a parameter which is this course id that should be it but in order to test it we need to create the 
update endpoint. So let's go to web and do put courses course and this will be go here. I'll just copy this big store method and we know it's called update and that we receive a course from route model binding. We validate the request and instead of creating we are now updating the course. So update sorry course and redirect to courses index. Another thing that we need to do is to make sure that if no file is, no cover is passed in, we keep the old covers of course cover. And that's it, it should work. So let's test it. Let's go to courses slash one, edit, and change this to Constantine. Choose file, carbon, update. And sure, it worked. That's how you do form handling with Yenosha and Laravel. Bye.